Hey, what's up? It's Taylor. Uh, out here in the garage and got my car back finally, as you can see. And I uh, got it back finally and they fixed the check engine light. So I thought I had an exhaust leak and Speed Ink told me that they didn't think I had one. They checked it, nothing. Uh, told them, can you please double check and nothing. So, no charge, car's back in my hands, check engine light's off. So that's good, but uh, they're still going to do the cat delete and the mid muffler, I think. So. Uh, that'll be happening sometime down the road because there's not really a rush for it and they're busy anyway. So, got the car back and in the last two weeks, like I said, I had a big update for getting something done I needed to get done and that was part of it. But the other part, as you kind of maybe noticed, is I painted the garage. So, over uh, Father's Day weekend, uh, my wife and I came out here and spent like a day and a half doing a base coat of white and then uh, the ceiling and everything. And then we did most of the blue until we ran out of paint. Uh, had to go back to the store and get more, but it was already getting late, so we didn't finish it. But, uh, yeah, so finished up painting last weekend, and it's not the best paint job in the world, but we don't care. We did it ourselves, and it was, uh, you know, looks fine for us. So next step, obviously, is these stupid floors are disgusting, and i uh, got to get that done. I have a friend who said he can help and give me a deal on some of the materials to get the floors epoxied, so that's the next step. Not sure when it's going to happen. But anyway, on to the new mod I just did of the car. Cheap, easy, free. Um, I'm thinking about doing it because I've been told by people to do it, but I just never did it. So I finally did that. And what I'm talking about is this here. The Rotofab Airbox cover. So I was told by somebody that the cover being on there was likely cutting off the amount of airflow that the filter could get into the supercharger. And then on top of that, it's making the sound you know, not as loud, it's muffling it, because the Rotofab, if you can see down there, you probably can't, but down there is where it gets its air from, and it, mine's cut open because the heat exchanger's down there, but it's still, it's only cut open to like a, I don't know, like a five inch square hole, and if it's not cut like that, if you didn't have a heat exchanger, the Rotofab intake goes down into the well there, and it's like a tiny opening, so not horribly restrictive, but I think it's more of a sound thing. So I took the cover off and I'm gonna see how it sounds and how it drives and see if uh, there's any change. So why don't we hop on in and get that done. All right, so let's see what it sounds like. Definitely a lot louder, so that's a plus. Um, I will say that uh, the second ago though, I revved it up and the car died and said reduced engine power, but I'm thinking that that's possibly because it's getting more air now maybe, and it didn't know how to handle it. So try it again and see if you guys can hear it. I hope you can. Right? Yeah. Alright, that's good. So it's three year old approved. <laughs> and eleven year old yeah. approved. No, it's five. Five? Five. So I guess it's a five out of ten. It's not the best thing, but it's good. Uh, so anyway, otherwise today I went to uh, Supercar Saturday and there was quite a few of us there, a lot of Holdens. And I was going to film, but then I thought about it. Those videos when I make them don't really get viewed that much. So I figured instead of filming and uh, not paying attention to anything but myself, I'd walk around and check out the cars and talk to people. And uh, I saw a couple of you guys who were in uh, the first video from the Bolingbrook one. And then you guys were in the last one at uh, uh, Barrington also, I guess. So it's cool to see you guys again. And also talk to a guy there who has a like 454 uh, with nitrous Chevy SS Trailblazer and talked to that guy for a while real cool guy Kevin So uh, if you're watching if you're checking this out man uh, Subscribe give me a thumbs up, but the truck is awesome man. I'd love to see it once back running again And other than that it was a uh, pretty good turnout today a lot of nice cars Didn't seem to be as nice as it was the last time I went to that one But what's funny is locally here. We have a Facebook group called Chicagoland Petrolheads and Car Spotters and it's basically, when you see nice cars, you take pictures and put them in the Facebook group. Well, this event attracts a lot of people because of that. And today, when I got home, I was looking to see if anybody spotted my car. And I find a post from some kid who's complaining that Supercar Saturday didn't have enough supercars at it. And it was loaded with Jeeps and 
four-door boring sedans. So, of course, I go on to read all these comments. <laughs> and uh, in the comments, he says something about, yeah, I saw a whole line of Chevy SS's. It was basically like a dealership. So I had to comment and say that we're a group, we're a club, and we showed up. And the Jeeps, they were also a club. There's also a bunch of CTSVs there. They were a club. So it's a huge turnout for clubs because it's a gigantic parking lot, and everybody that goes wants to see everything that's there. And it's like, dude, what, do you want me to show off my Jeep Renegade instead so you can stare at that piece of crap? So whatever, man. He's uh, just complaining because he didn't see enough Ferraris and Lamborghinis, I guess, for one person. But... Truthfully, those cars, when they are there, are generally brought by dealerships anyway. So it's like, oh, you're going to say my lineup of owned Chevy SS's and Holden's and everything like that with us is a dealership, yet a literal dealership bringing a Ferrari F40 is not? So, I don't know. I don't care. I had a lot of fun, a lot of cool things there, a lot of uh, nice people I met. And I hope that everybody that saw me there, uh, you know, I got to check out the car. I had the hood pop for a while, but... Um, yeah, so didn't do the uh, intake mod thing until I got home, and that is actually per a friend of mine, Andrew's instructions. So Andrew, if you're watching, thank you. I appreciate the uh, the tip on doing that because it definitely is a lot louder, and I'm not sure if it's faster, but at this point, the car's fast enough. It doesn't need to be crazy faster. Don't care. So enjoying it, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the video, and hopefully you uh, were able to hear it, and if not. I'll put a video right at the end of this of an outside sound of me driving it. So, otherwise, don't forget to give me a uh, thumbs up in this video, and don't forget to hit subscribe, and have a wonderful day.